All right, here's um, the uh, spectrum analyzer. Not exactly, but sort of fixed. And uh, I'll explain that at the end of this video. But what we're going to do right now is run it through its paces because it is operating correctly. But uh, it does need some tuning, uh, even though it's well within spec. So if you recall, this thing was uh, getting uh, noise floor failures and uh, wave shape failures. And now it's uh, passing everything. Um, so here we go. Hit preset. All right. Now, just going to run through this. That's the inside. LEDs. That shows all the power supply is good. There's some motherboard LEDs. And now, I'm going to hook my low loss cable up. At least we're going to try. And there we go. Nice harmonics. Look at that. Nice and clean. Very nice. Very nice. Now, first of all, just want to show you. Set the frequency for 300 megahertz. That's the center frequency. Set the span. 20 megahertz. And there you go. All right, do a peak search. And there is readout. Marker is at 299.85. Let me get my glasses. Eight five megahertz. Now, when it warms up, it does move out of calibration a little bit. Generally, it goes to about three hundred point five zero. But remember, the according to spec, the accuracy of this thing is plus or minus five megahertz. So it's well within spec. So here we are. You can see it's moving a little bit now as it warms up. Um, so, first of all, we're going to go back, preset, back to the harmonics, and now we will run confidence tests. And note, confidence test pass. All right. And it wasn't passing that at all before. And OK, here's the big one. I'm going to run uh, the, let's see, calibration, the frequency and amplitude calibration. But before I do that, I'm going to let it warm up a little bit because it really does have to warm up for about 20 or 30 minutes before I do this calibration test. Uh, it would pass it anyway, but uh, I'm just going to let it warm up. So be right back. All right, we are back. And now to show since it's warmed up a little bit, I'm going to do a uh, preset over here. Uh, and as you can tell, it's still at 299.80. Very well in tolerance. Now, now this might take a while, but I'm going to do the um, 
calibration. Show you how that works. Okay, here we go. That just finished the uh, frequency calibration. Now we're on the amplitude calibration, which this one can take some time. You can hear the attenuators clicking. By the way, it didn't pass any of these before. But it's still not fixed. Well, it is and it isn't.
Right now it's calibrating the uh, log amp, logarithmic amplifier. And I thought the oscilloscope calibrations were bad. This thing takes forever. We're almost finished. And if you can see, Cal done. So I passed every one of them, confidence test, frequency calibration and amplitude calibration. So let's go back to the preset. And see where we are. And now you see that it's warmed up. 300.4 megahertz. Usually it's about 305. So I don't know how well the uh, cal, cal out is calibrated. I don't have a frequency counter to test it, but um, it's supposed to be 300 megahertz. So assuming it is 300 megahertz, it's very well within spec. And as I said, spec, from what I can tell, is plus or minus five megahertz. So it's actually less accurate than I would have thought, but um, it's well within specs. Um, and as far as the power rating, negative 20 dBm, and it's supposed to be negative 20 coming from the uh, calibration source cal out right there. So again, pretty close. But when I come back, I'll explain why it isn't totally fixed. Although uh, for all intents and purposes, it is fixed, but um, it is and it isn't. And I'll explain that when I get back. Thanks.